Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you the application of RCPP in Monte Carlo simulation. To be specific, I would like to show how to generate a random number using accept reject method. The accept reject method is an indirect method to generate random numbers. All we need to know are two probability density functions or PDF and a constant. So the first PDF is the, the function f they are, we are interested in. We call it target density function. The second PDF is a simpler density function g. We call it instrumental or candidate density. And the, the constant m is defined as bigger than all fx over gx. In, an, in another word, it is bigger than the ratio of the target density over the instrumental density. Now let's look at the code, and I will provide a link to the source file on GitHub. The purpose of this code is to generate uh, random numbers following the beta distribution. Because in C++ STL, beta is not provided, so we borrow the functionality from the boost library, and uh, this is the header file. Firstly, I create a help function to generate the uniform random numbers. Firstly, the, the first parameter is a reference to a array which will be used to store the random numbers and the, the second and third parameters are the, the lower and upper limit to the uniform distribution. So in the body of the function, I create a random device. Then I create an engine which will be used to gener generate random numbers. It follows the Mersin twist algorithm and in its constructor it calls the operator bracket from the random device to set up the seed. Then I create a variable which, which, whose type is uniform real distribu distribution, and this is from the C++ STL. Then I call another function bind from the STL to combine the function with its parameters, and it will generate a function object. Finally, I call another function from STL to, to apply the function to each of the elements in the array. Therefore, the array will save the, all the ran, uh, random numbers following the uniform distribution. Now, let's look at the next function, getBoundM. It is used to calculate the maximum value of the beta distribution. So that's why we pass in both alpha and beta. And all we and we also pass in a parameter called length to control the precision of the output. So the first part of the function is essentially creating a sequence of numbers between 0 and 1. So it is very similar to the SEQ function in R, so SEQ from 0 to 1, and the length to be, say, 1000. So we specify the length to be 1000. And now we have a sequence of uh, doubles between 0 and 1. So the next part of the function is to calculate the maximum of the beta distribution. Where the vector result is used to, is used to save the, the PDF or the beta. So we create a beta distribution provided by the boost library and then we call the transform from the C++ STL. Where the first three iterators specify the the range of input and output, and the last lambda calculated the PDF of the beta distribution. And finally, we call the max element from the STL to get the maximum value within the, the range. So essentially, it's very similar to the optimize function in R. So we pass in a function, f equals function x, and the body is a beta distribution x and uh, we let alpha equals 2.76 for example and the beta equals 6.3 and uh, we specify the interval to be a vector of 0 and 1 and uh, we let the maximum to be true and then we fetch the objective from the output objective so the m equals 2.669. Finally, the main function 
simulate beta distribution. It takes three parameters, alpha, beta, and the number of simulations. Firstly, we convert the type from S expression to double and int. Then we call the getBoundM function to calculate the maximum value of the beta distribution, which is this number. And then we create a vector of the random numbers which follows uniform distribution. Here, the lower limit is zero, but the upper limit is bound M. The reason is because if you look at our reason, step two, on the right hand side, the denominator is M times GY, and we let the G or the instrument the density function to be one. And so if we multiply M to the left hand side, we get UM. And the algorithm is that if fy is bigger than the um, then we accept y. So essentially, this one equals um. Then we create another set of the random numbers following uniform distribution between 0 and 1. This will, they will be passed to the beta distribution. So we create the, the, random, uh, the variable, which is the beta distribution provided by the boost library. And then we, we have a vector of double to, say, to store the result. And the loop implements the accept-reject algorithm. For each of the simulation, if the PDF or FY is bigger than UM, then we accept it and we push it into the result. Otherwise, we discuss it, discuss it and uh, carry on. When the loop finished, we wrap it and pass it back. So that's it. If you have any suggestions or opinions, please leave them below the video. And thank you for your watching.